Once you've made your Tinkercad account and you log in, you'll arrive on this screen. On the left hand side here, we're going to click on circuits and then we can click on create new circuit. The first thing you might want to do is give your project a name. So I'm going to call this project one and then we can start adding components to our project. Over here on the drop down menu, you've got a list of component libraries. You can choose just the Arduino one, basic or all components. I'm going to stick with basic for now. You can either use the search bar and search for a specific component or you can just scroll through the list and drag them out and drop them on the workspace. So if you did want to search for a component, type in your search and drag that out. Some of the other possibilities you have, um, you can rename your components. You can also use this button in the top left to rotate your components. Uh, if you need to do that, maybe to fit it on the um, breadboard, you may need to rotate your components. We'll just have a look at how you can attach wires. So you can see here on each of these pins, it comes up a little square box. This is the positive terminal. If I click on that one and then click on the other location where I want the wire to join, it places a wire for you. Now we want to try and keep our colors correct. So let's change this to red color for the positive wire. And I can do the same for the negative wire, attach that to the ground and we can flick that over to black. You will notice with some of the components, they do have um, other menus that come with them. So most of the components, you can rename them if you wish. An LED, for example, has a second menu where you can um, choose the color of the LED. Or for example, if we choose a resistor, if we drag that one out, um, you can actually choose the value and the units for the resistance. When you are ready to run some code, so I'm just gonna delete these two bits. When you are ready to run some code, you can basically click on this code button. Um, you can view your code as blocks, as blocks and text, or just as text. So I'm gonna click on the text tab. And you once you've copied your code from wherever you already have it, or you can write it directly into here, I'm gonna paste in a little program to make this circuit work. And once you click start, it'll plug the USB in and the project will run. So let's do that. Okay, we can see now that the project's running. It's all working as I hoped. You can click on that code button again just to free up the screen there. Um, once you've tested your code and you're happy, you can click on stop. There is one last feature we can look at. If you wanted to add some notes to your project, click on the notes tab click uh, where you want to add the note and then you can add in the relevant details. You can delete those the same as anything else, select it and hit delete. If you just want to turn off notes for the time being, click on the eye so it gets a strike through and then you can switch it back on. All of the projects auto save in Tinkercad. So once you have finished with a project, you can just click back on the Tinkercad logo up in the top and it takes you back to your dashboard where you'll now be able to see all of your projects.